Hello and welcome to this Polycom Graphics Commander tutorial. Today we will be installing and activating the software. We will also be looking at setting up your first display. To start off with, we will be installing the software as provided by Polycom. This is software version 1.0.22. Double click on the software to start the installation process. We can select the installation location if it's not the standard location. We can select who is to use the software. After the installation is complete, you can close the setup wizard. Now you can double click on the application to start the software. On your first run, you will notice a product expired message at the top. Click on help about to show the product information. Right click and copy the software ID. On your desktop, create a new text file that you can call Polycom software ID. Open that file and paste your software ID into that text file. Now you can close and save this file. This file needs to be sent to Polycomp in order for them to send you an activation key. I've already done so and I have my activation key here. I can take the context of this file, copy it and paste it into my software. Then by pressing activate, I activate the software. It is now ready to be used. Next, we will power up our Polycom display and look at the startup message to determine the settings to be used in our software. The first thing we see is Polycom, P and two numbers. In this case, it's 192 by 64. This tells us the display is 192 by 64 pixels. Then we see VM RGB color. This tells us the display is capable of displaying multiple enlarged lines as well as RGB color capable. Next, we will see the firmware version of the display. Then the display states that it's running generic firmware. Next we will see the communication settings. In this case we are running at a board rate of 9600. No parity is set. We have a data bit of 8, a stop bit of 0 and the display is at address number 1. Finally the display will show that its RAM test is OK. Then the display will display whatever pages have been programmed. Now we can set up our display according to the parameters given at startup. First I will give my display a recognizable name. Then under properties I can set the display properties. In this case the display is 192 by 64 pixels. We also know the display has a color setting of RGB or 7 colors. We know that the enlarge mode for this display is mixed or multi. And we know the communication type as well. Serial communication, my computer is using COM port 1, port rate is 9600 and the address of this display is address 1. Now we can add folders to be displayed. Give the folder a recognizable name.
set whether or not the folders should be scheduled or play all the time. In this case, we will leave it without a schedule. We can now add pages to this folder. Give the page a recognizable name. And now we can start adding text to be displayed on the page. I will go to the first line, click on it and start typing. And you will take note, if I send that to the display, it will display this page onto the display. I can add more text on different lines by clicking on the given line. And also update that information to the display. I can change the color of the text on the display by highlighting the text and selecting the color from the top. and then sending that information to the display. I can also select the size the text should be displayed by clicking on the text and clicking on the bold button and sending that information to the display. It is also possible to center the text on the display by pushing the center button and updating the information to the display. And I can change the way the information is displayed on the screen by selecting the function of, of display. By selecting auto, it will automatically go through the different functions of the display. I also have the capability of sliding the bottom line of text on the display. I will first select the slide function and then on the bottom line start typing my slide text. And send that information to the display. You can set the display to show today's time and date by selecting clock under display mode and updating that to the display. You can also change the size of the clock. You can also set the clock by using the set clock button. I can add a second or third page by clicking on the add page button and giving it a descriptive name. Then exactly the same as page one, I can type text for this page. Your second page will display after your first page has finished.